700 years ago, there was a devastating pandemic that changed the world as we know it. Villages and cities were wiped out as the disease spread from person to person with roads literally being littered with corpses. Its impact was so large that when you hear the term Dark Ages, it brings up images of the plague to this day. The people at the time called it the Pestilence. Today, we call it the Black Death. The disease responsible for the Black Death is called Plague, and there's evidence of people suffering from plague dating back to 3000 BC. The Akkadians were one of the first ever human civilizations, and they had a plague god named Era. Plague is known to have primarily infected rats, but has caused mass destruction in human settlements over the world many times in the past. The worst of these pandemics happened between 1346 and 1353, most likely originating somewhere in China or the steppes of Central Asia. The descendants of the Mongol Emperor Genghis Khan controlled much of Asia and parts of Eastern Europe during this time, and they controlled much of the trade between Europe and Asia. But Italian traders from the Republic of Genoa occupied the small port city of Kaffa in Crimea. The armies of the Golden Horde laid siege to Kaffa in 1346, but the siege proved to be a failure. And as it dragged on, many men from the Golden Horde started to suffer from symptoms of the plague, which they most likely got from their links with the east of Asia. This inevitably led to a lot of dead bodies, and in a primitive form of biological warfare, surviving members of the army began to hurl infected corpses over the walls of the city of Kaffa. Many inside the city became infected, and several Genoese traders fled Kaffa by ship and sailed back to the island of Sicily. But by the time the ship arrived in Sicily, most of the men on it were already dead or infected. The ship was then looted, which helped spread the plague, and by early 1348, after further ship duckings, reports of outbreaks came from every region of Italy, as well as parts of France and Spain. The famous Italian Renaissance writer Giovanni Boccaccio wrote a detailed account of what his countrymen were suffering from. He described the appearance of large pus filled tumours over places like the groin and the armpit, which then spread all over the body to form numerous black spots. What he was witnessing was two of the three forms of plague. In bubonic plague, the infection enters the lymphatic system via the skin, and once it reaches the lymph node, the nodes start to swell forming structures known as buboes. From the lymphatic system, the infection drains into the blood causing a widespread inflammatory response and the formation of several clots around the body. This blocks up the blood supply to key tissues, causing them to turn black and die. This is known as septicemic plague. Western Europe wasn't the only place affected by the Black Death. Other ships coming from Kaffa entered modern day Turkey and spread to Greece, Egypt and parts of the Middle East that bordered the Mediterranean around the same time of the first European spread. By 1349, the Western spread had reached places like Britain, Scandinavia and Morocco, while the Eastern spread had reached key cities such as Baghdad and Mecca. The writings of the time show an aura of despair and hopelessness. No one was safe, whether you were young or old, or poor or rich. The plague remained at its peak all the way to 1351 and only really subsided two years later. The rapid person-to-person -person spread can be attributed to the pneumonic form of the plague. The lungs become infected and the sufferers start to experience shortness of breath, chest pain and a cough which can be bloody and allows airborne transmission to other people with a single person transmitting the disease to three other people on average. The people at the time of the Black Death didn't know what germs were. Many believed it was a punishment from God. Astrologers looked to the heavens and claimed that the recent alignment of Jupiter, Saturn and Mars caused a great pestilence in the air which was corrupting people's blood from country to country. The doctors at the time tried treatments ranging from bloodletting to attempting to drain the buboes, but nothing proved effective and up to 90% of those infected with plague were thought to have died. Another source of the blame were the numerous Jewish communities living around Europe. People noticed that Jews seemed to have lower death rates and a conspiracy started to go around 
that they were poisoning the wells of the largely Christian populations in the continent. Many governments sanctioned the persecution of Jews, and thousands were killed in a series of massacres around Europe. The real reason they were affected less was because they had many customs which promoted hygiene, such as washing corpses before burial. They also tended to live in secluded ghettos located away from the main population, so were largely protected from the outbreak. But like many times in history, the death from disease always overshadows the death from violence. In the span of only six years, the Black Death killed over 100 million of the 500 million people in the world at that time, with Europe losing around 50% of its population. Future consequences of the Black Death, included massive labour shortages and a high demand for workers in many sectors. There was also a few hundred years of global cooling due to the reduction in farming leading to the reforestation of trees. The mood of the art that followed the Black Death was a reflection of how all walks of society were affected and would serve as a reminder to future generations of the level of destruction caused by the pandemic. Some historians have argued that the devastation caused by the plague in Italy was the catalyst for the Renaissance, as many people started to turn away from spirituality and focus on art, science and philosophy. Several more epidemics of plague happened around the world over the next 500 years, killing thousands to millions of more people. It wasn't until 1894 that the Swiss physician Alexander Yersin discovered the causative agent of plague. It was a bacteria, which is now named Yersinia pestis in honour of his discovery. DNA from Yersinia pestis has recently been found in mass graves dating to around the time of the Black Death. We now know today that fleas of rats are the natural reservoir of this bacteria. And during the time of the pandemic, Widespread famine caused the migration of infected rats into Europe from Central Asia. As the rat population started to die off in the heat, the fleas turned to a new reservoir in humans and the bacteria spread rapidly, aided by the densely populated settlements in Eurasia. Since the discovery of antibiotics, doctors are now able to effectively treat plague nowadays with a death rate of only 10%. Only around 600 cases of plague are reported a year, but due to things like the very realistic threat of antibiotic resistance in Yersinia pestis and the effects of climate change that aid its transmission, we may very well see another Black Death sometime in the near future.